In this video, I'm going to walk you through solving one of the limiting reactant problems in Alex. Now, before we get started, I want to let you know that in the limiting reactant section, there are actually two different types of problems. One is pretty straightforward. One type is pretty straightforward. And the other type, which is what I have here, is actually quite a bit more difficult. Now, the way Alex works, you may never be assigned a problem that looks like this. And, you know, in that situation, that's awesome for you. But if you do end up getting one of these particular types of problems, I wanted to make sure that you had a tutorial. So like all of the other stoichiometry type questions in Alex, the problem is going to give you the information necessary for you to write and balance a chemical reaction, which I've already done to save time. Another thing that I did was take the, the way that this butane formula was written, and I just condensed it into C4H10 because the molecule, if we count it out, it does have four carbon atoms and it has 10 hydrogen atoms. So I'm writing it in this format just because it takes up less space. This particular problem is giving us, just like all of our limiting reactant problems, it's giving us a mass of butane and it's giving us a mass of oxygen and it's asking us to calculate the minimum mass of butane that would be left over by the chemical reaction. So because the way that this question is worded, calculate the mass of butane that would be left over, that is implying to us that butane is our excess reactant. The excess reactant um, is the one that has that's in excess, that has some stuff left over. So since it's asking us to calculate how much is left over, we can make the assumption that butane is excess. And because butane is the excess reactant, that means just by default that O2 is the limiting reactant. One of these, one of the reactants is always designated limiting, one of them is always designated excess. And again, I'm just making this assumption based on the way that the question is worded, since it's asking us specifically how much is left over, I assume that that means that butane is excess. So what this question really is asking, like the actual wording of this question is how much butane, C4H10, is needed to react with 27.6 grams of O2. So since we know or we assume that O2 is the limiting reactant, uh, what I want to do is think about this question up here. Think about it in this, this context. If I know that this is my limiting reactant, well, then let's figure out how much C4H10 do I actually need. I know I have 23 grams, but I know that that's more than what I need. So how much do I actually need? And if we don't pay attention to any of this stuff up here just for a little while, and we focus on this question, just this question, this is a simple, straightforward stoichiometry problem where we're just being asked to take this starting information 27.6 grams of O2, we're going to take this starting information and we're going to convert it into information about C4H10. So the first step here, we're going to convert our grams of O2 into moles of O2 using the molecular weight of O2. And then once we get that done, we are going to convert from moles of O2 into moles of butane, C4H10, using their stoichiometric coefficients. And then once we get that done, we are going to convert in from moles of butane into grams of butane using the molecular weight. And again, what we're figuring out here is how much of this butane is necessary to react with the 27.6 grams of O2. So I am using my calculator right now to get the math on this and I get 7.696 grams of C4H10. And that specifically, that is how much is actually needed in this reaction. So the question wants to know not how much do we actually need, but how much is left over. So of course, um, the rest of this should be pretty straightforward. If we started with 23 grams initially, and we only needed 7.696 grams, this tells us that we have 15.3 grams left over. 
So this 23 grams was how much we started with. The 7.696 was how much we needed, uh, which is how much we used. And this quantity right here is what we have left over. Uh, it says it wants it to two significant figures, so that should be 15 grams with the decimal point at the end to make Alex happy. If you end up with literally this exact same question with the 23 and the 27.6 grams of oxygen, please don't type in 15 grams. I have got this number, I calculated this number by rounding the molecular weights of O2 and C4H10, and Alex doesn't like it when molecular weights are rounded. So if you do happen to get this exact same question, please redo this calculation using exact molecular weights for O2 and C4H10. Maybe it doesn't make a difference at all, but maybe it does, and it would be unfortunate for you to get it wrong just because of the rounded molecular weights.